Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my channel. Learn Math with Sayyid Ali. Today our topic is coordinate system or Cartesian coordinates. Right? So let us know first the definition what the Cartesian coordinate system is. Cartesian coordinate coordinate system Cartesian coordinate system this system specifies each point uniquely in a plane by a set of numerical coordinates right so what are the numerical coordinates so what is coordinate? Coordinates. Right? These numbers represents in the parenthesis and first letter represent the x value and the second letter represents the y value. x represents how far the point is left or right left or right so x represent on x axis or a horizontal line horizontal line how far a point is from a fixed point which is called origin which is called origin origin coordinate is zero zero right so how far it is left or right on the horizontal line that is x axis and y is how far the point is up and down up and down on vertical line vertical line that means we have two dimensional grid representation system right so x-axis representing the horizontal distance from a fixed point and y-axis is representing up and down distance from a fixed point and that fixed point is called zero zero so it is a setup of one horizontal line and one vertical line perpendicular to each other Horizontal line is called x-axis and vertical line is called y-axis. And that gives us four coordinate systems. This is first coordinate, second coordinate, third coordinate, fourth coordinate. So this is coordinate system, right? Comprising of two lines perpendicular to each other, one horizontal other vertical horizontal line is called x axis vertical line is called y axis so when we write axis this is singular and the plural of the axis is axis axis is plural plural of axis so if i i am talking about only one axis then it's axis if I am talking about both axes, AX, ES, so it comprising of two axes, X axis and Y axis, perpendicular to each other and forming four coordinate system. The intersection point of these two vertical lines is called origin and the coordinate of the origin is always zero, zero. So this is origin and the coordinate of origin is zero, zero right now if we have any point so this cartesian coordinate system will tell us that how far that point is let's say one two three four five six so six unit on the right of x-axis that is i will write six here this is my six how much i travel on x-axis to the right and then i travel one two three four five six seven eight so i am here i locate my point here and i put down 
this point as coordinate. So I travel vertically 8. So my coordinate of this cross or point is 6 and 8. And they both are positive. Therefore, they are in first coordinate. You can see that x is positive here, y is positive here. So this coordinate is plus x and plus y. Both things x and y are positive. In this coordinate, you can see that x dash, x dash means negative. Here x is negative, but y is positive. Here in the third coordinate, you have to remember that x is negative. x dash means the negative side of x axis. And y dash means the negative side of the y axis. So in the third coordinate, both x and y are negative, right? In the fourth coordinate, x is positive, but my y is negative. So in this way, we have all the values of the coordinate system, first coordinate, second coordinate, third coordinate, and fourth coordinate. And we know that what is plus x is to the right, negative axis to the left, plus y to the up, minus y to the down. So if we know this system, Cartesian coordinate system, so we can locate any point. Let's say somebody is saying, okay, locate these points. So minus five, minus six. So they both are minus. So that point will be located into the third quadrant. And I will read it like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the minus 5, and then minus 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is my point. I can name it A. A is my point, minus 5, minus 6. I can name this B, right? So this B was 6 and 8. I can have any point. I have C. So the coordinate is negative four and negative six or positive six. Now negative four and positive six. Where I have to go? Negative on x axis, that is horizontal. One, two, three, four, five. So I have to go only four, minus four and six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is my C point, minus four and plus six. Any point question can talk about, let's say, it's saying 4 and 0. So here, I have to measure 4 on the x-axis horizontal side, but I have nothing on y. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is my point. This is my D point. This is on x-axis. So when it's on axis, it, we cannot say that it is in the first quadrant or second quadrant or third quadrant. So we say that point is lying on x-axis. Point is lying on x-axis. If I have, for example, minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 5 and 0. So this time I have only, this is my E point, minus 5 and 0. So I have this E point, right? I have this D point, 4 and 0. So in this case, we learn that we can locate any point with reference to the Cartesian plane, right? In a, in, a, in a plane, in any plane, where two vertical lines are crossing each other perpendicularly and the point of intersection is called origin. The coordinate of origin is zero, zero. So we can locate any point or we can draw any point we want to locate and how we have to show them in the parenthesis. First, we have to write X coordinate. Then we always write Y coordinate, right? So we have to write X coordinate first and then Y coordinate. So in this regard, so, so many examples um, are there uh, for grade eight and grade nine. Uh, sometimes they have the points drawn on the Cartesian coordinate system. They ask which coordinate they lie. They can ask uh, the question that where the points have the X, which points have got the same X coordinate, same X coordinate. For example, I have four zero and then I have another point four one. So
so 4 1 and 4 0 has got same x point this is my 4 1 right they have same x point so they can draw any point into the cartesian coordinate system and then we have to tell which coordinate system or which coordinate does it lying and what are the points lying on the x-axis what are the points lying on the y-axis points that have common x coordinate or points that have y is equals to zero so these all questions are related to x and y so i will repeat it one more time right so two perpendicular lines oriented perpendicularly representing distance known as axes right so they are referred to onto those axes where when they cross each other perpendicularly they form a point of intersection is called zero or origin to the right is x positive to the left is x negative to up y is positive to the bottom y is negative so we have four cartesian coordinates first coordinate second coordinate third coordinate fourth coordinate in first coordinate both x and y are plus in second coordinate x is minus y is plus in third coordinate both x and y are negative in fourth coordinate x is plus y is minus so i have drawn so many points here just to give you an idea that how can we locate the points in cartesian coordinate system so that specifies each point uniquely in a plane by a set of the numbers. What is called the Cartesian coordinate system? Cartesian coordinate system is a system that specifies each point uniquely in a plane by a set of numerical numbers, right? Or numerical coordinates. So coordinates I have explained here, X and Y, right? These are the coordinates. And where they lie, that depends upon X and Y values. Are they positive or are they negative? So, for, for example, how to use this Cartesian coordinate system in our daily life? Yeah, we can use it. Two-dimensional grid representing room and we can use appropriate unit of measurement and then we can locate things, right? Where my bed could be in this corner, this unit away, that unit away. So this location is for flower pot, this location is for lamp, this location is... So architects use all the time grid system and engineers all the time using the coordinate system to locate the point and to locate the um, system of measurements onto the point, right? So remember, x-axis is horizontal line, y-axis is vertical line, two lines dropping each other perpendicularly, right? So the, the perpendicularly means the angle between X and Y is always 90 degree. Anywhere you measure it, it is 90 degree. So they are perpendicular, right? So the point of intersection is called origin, that is zero, zero. And this Cartesian coordinate systems is written by X and Y coordinates, X being first, on the x-axis, y being second on the y-axis. x represents horizontal, left or right, right? And y represents up and down, vertical. So this is just the beginning for grade eight um, and maybe grade nine. Can a student, uh, these students can benefit from this lecture. And we will go into the detail how the point is shown, what are the four coordi Cartesian coordinate system, and we will go and um, see lecture number two on the same subject, right? So hope you understand uh, this thoroughly. Uh, if you like it, subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button, thumbs up and share it with your friends and family friends. You can always email me your questions at s underscore shahid underscore ali at hotmail.com. Thank you for watching.